So today I'm doing a service call out here in the field at harvest for a grower. His concern is he's got very uneven or very poor uniformity in his ears. He's looking for that photocopied finish and he's not getting that. Now to start off with, you know, now's a good time to grab it or before now. If we get this call after the corn's been harvested, there's no way of being able to ground truth it to figure out what's going on. So that's what we're doing here today. Again, to begin with too, this is in an area that is nine and a half inches of rain behind since July 1st. So they're up against a real dry finish and that dry finish is of course gonna affect ear size and kernel depth and that to begin with. But here today, I did a stand count here in this field. We do have 34,000 plants. We have 4,000 barren plants and we have 4,000, which I would say a uh, quite a bit smaller ear than I would like. It's not very uniform. So that brings our ear count you know, down in that 26, 27,000 range. So he's correct in saying that the ear size is not uniform in here. Now I'm gonna sh walk down here and give you a picture, uh, walk this thousandth of an acre, give you a little bit of a picture of what we're looking at in this ear uniformity. Now, when we have poor uniformity in the ear, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the stalk diameter because that'll tell a lot of the story. And if that stalk diameter of the small plant is a third or less compared to the neighboring plants, whatever that problem is, is gonna be early on in the season. So that's gonna be uh, emergence coming out of the ground. That's gonna be sidewall smearing, those types of things. So you would start to look back in time to what happened earlier in the season that caused this plant to get behind. It could be a number of things, but that's where you look. If the stalk diameter is somewhat uniform, now whatever the problem is, is gonna happen in the reproductive stages and you, you would be looking for some type of insect or disease or something that came in after pollination, after July 1st, that may have caused this trouble. So we're gonna look at some of these plants and look at stalk diameters and compare them to a good ear. So here I have a, an ear that we're gonna basically go through the stripper plates. Right next to it, I have a, a smaller ear, and then I'm gonna have a more normal ear for this growing season. As we come down here below the ears and we look at the stalk diameters, here's the stalk diameter of the uh, a barren plant. You see the purpling in it, that's a combination of, of losing that ear. Right next to it, I got a stalk of a small ear, and then I have a stalk uh, of a regular ear. But notice these stalks are pretty much all the same. I got good spacing, and the stalk size is the same. So that is your indicator that this is not an early season problem for this particular field. It's something that came in in the reproductive stages. And again, came in early enough for this ear to be aborted off. So at that point, you would split the plant. If you're looking for disease, I'm gonna tell you first thing you can do, especially in a year like this, is look at aphid pressure. So if I come up this plant, you can see the remnants of the aphids. So these are corn aphids that came in here around pollination time shortly after, put enough pressure on this plant that it affected the ear size. If I go to the small ear next to it, and I follow that up, Again, you see the aphid pressure, the, the old carcasses that were here. So this is, again, aphids. I look at the normal ear, if you're gonna call it normal for this year, I don't see the aphid pressure on it. I definitely do see the tar spot. So this field's had a tar spot um, come in here as well on top of the dry weather. But as I look at these barren plants, where they're not putting an ear on, and I follow that up, I can see all the aphid pressure, all the aphid pressure that's left on here. Again, here's another barren plant. You can see the tire spawn on it. You get up in here, you can see the heavy aphid pressure. We get to a normal ear. We 
follow it out and you don't see the apron pressure. So in this particular field, um, the quick diagnosis is going to say most of the uniformity problems in here is due to the aphids. Um, and this field was sprayed for aphids. We probably just didn't spray it quick enough. We let too many plants get waxed up. And then you put the pressure on a tar spot in dry weather and you take it out. And I know a lot of people say, don't worry about aphids. You can get yourself pollinated at a 50% aphid infestation. Um, but it can be a catastrophe if they take out those upper leaves and abort that ear on you. So we're going to be a little more proactive in spraying for aphids. We typically are. This field got sprayed, but probably should have been sprayed a couple weeks early.